and your delivery on Twine 2.6. In this video, I'm going to look at an extended example of working with the text box macro within Sugarcube 2.36. So as we've now learned, if we want to get reader input, we can use either the text box or short words or phrases or text area for long sections of text in Sugarcube. This allows us to get immediately get text and then use it as part of variables within Sugarcube. So let's look at an example of how that might work. So we've previously seen in the keys and doors example that I've revisited multiple times in this extended video series, how we can use variables for keys and then unlock doors by using the if macro with them. In this particular example, I'm replaying a very similar pattern, but in this case, I'm using the text box macro to ask the reader for a particular password. However, as we saw with keys and doors, we don't want the problem for that interaction until they've already gotten the information. Based on the information, the changing of the value of the variable, we would then prompt them to enter a password, which we've given to them. Then once we get the correct password, they will be able to progress. So think of it as keys and doors, except using an example of working with the text box macro. So let's go ahead and jump into the code. So we see right here, pull up start. I'm using a story variable, password found. This will be detailing whether or not the password has been found, and then we will allow them to enter things, and of course setting password to just an initial value right here. And I've also got a little bit of text to just sort of establish what's going on. So as you approach the computer, you notice the screen is blinking in a steady rhythm. In order to learn its secrets, you will need to find the password. And we can go over to search desk or enter password. And notice this is a very similar pattern that I showed with keys and doors. So we're repeating kind of a same similar structure. Over here in search desk, notice I'm now using the link replace macro. As we've seen in previous video, a link replace can in many times work better as interactivity within a single passage because we can provide a case where something is shown. Remember, when we work with the link macro and in its sister macros, that the link macro runs silently, which means it ignores all output. However, its sister macros, link prepend, link replace, as in the case of this passage, and link append are the better options if you want output with a corresponding link macro. So in this case, I wanted output. I wanted it to be replaced by what was found. And in this case right here, if password is found, we immediately set our password to zero, we immediately set it to one. And then it says you found the password and it reads one, two, three, four. Not a terribly advanced password, but that's what we're going for. And so then once password found is one, we move over to enter a password. Once this is true up here, then they will be able to enter a password using the text box. Remember again, in double quotation marks, I have the story variable that I want the value to be in. In this case, I have right here the empty initial value, and then I'm using the kind of optional or alternative rules with text box in that once the reader presses enter and they type in that password, I want it to go to another pa passage. And in this case, the other passage to go to is a check password. So enter password and check password are connected through the text box macro, but again, we don't see a visual connection entwined because there is no explicit link between them. Otherwise, right here, if password found is zero, which means the reader has not found the password yet, it says you do not know the password yet, and sends us back to search desk. So let's see this all in practice and then talk about it. So we have the initial setup, some little bit of exposition, just to get a reader some idea of what they're doing and possibly why they're doing it. And we have our two corresponding options. So let's go ahead and enter a password. I don't know the password yet. Again, keeping track of knowledge. We search the desk. Okay, well, possibly we can look through the top door. We can enter a password since it's right back here. Notice this is the exact same pattern I'm using keys and doors. Look through the top door. We found the password reads 1234. We can now enter a password, and now we have the option to enter 1234. Let's potentially enter 12345, which is wrong, and press enter. And then nothing happens because we've entered the wrong password. So let's go back. In this case, one, two, three, four, enter, correct, you unlock the computer. So what if the case if we entered the wrong password? So check password could, if we wanted to, anticipate that. So I wrote, is this, I could have also written an additional if macro, is not, and then done something accordingly. Regardless, though, what this example shows is we can work with the text box macro to accept reader input. However, when we do so, we also need to count with doing something with it. So in this case, again, we're checking to see what was entered. If password was one, two, three, four, chose correct. Again, I could have used an, an additional if macro to account for if the password wasn't that, but it allows us to work with that. 
Notice I'm still using the exact same pattern of keys and doors. In this case, the password itself is acting as a metaphorical key as part of this interactive story example. Remember, as we work with these, we again want to give the reader some type of exposition or information about why they're doing things and provide them the ability to not do something. So in this case, as we saw very similar in Keys and Doors, they can look through the top door or not. In the previous example of Keys and Doors, they could pick up the key or not. And then once they've done that, we sort of now allow them to progress the story. And once they progress down here, once they found it, we can enter in the text box. If they don't have it, they can't enter it in yet. Thanks for watching.